always difficult to prepare for when a, a new manager comes in and, and like you say you get that immediate bounce with their result on, on, on Tuesday night um, and a con- confidence booster for that group of players but the, the players are still the same personnel is still the same I don't think they'll change too much because the manager has been part of their, their coaching team for a large part now for a number of seasons and um, has a big role to play in relation to that so um, we, we've got an idea of what to expect this weekend um, as always we'll, we'll focus on ourselves and picking up a few tired bodies from Tuesday night getting ready for the weekend and um, we know we're going to be stronger in terms of the personnel we've got to choose from um, but also being able to impact the game from, from the bench as well is something we're looking forward to this weekend um, the, you mentioned before what the lads did today in relation to training um, a split group um, one group of tired bodies on the Astro turf doing very little and then a training group um, and the training group were really impressive in terms of when they went about their business um, and some players put themselves in in a good position going into the weekend I know you're, you're tired of talking about it so I won't go into too much detail but obviously it's the, on Tuesday we played on the on the pitch for the first time since we, we had all that rain that saw the Grimsby game called off are you pleased with it or would you rather it was you know, basically, is it as bad as you expected it to be after all that rain? I'll probably rephrase it. It's probably as good as it can be. Let's be honest in terms of the work Chaz and the rest of the ground staff do. It's, it's as good as it can be um, in terms of this time of year. Um, there's a bit of a split on the pitch now in terms of areas of no grass and, and, and areas which where the ball travels more, more, more smoothly or truly. Um, but it certainly doesn't help what we're trying to do in relation to our philosophy and our style of play. Um, but I was, I was pleased with how firm it was on Tuesday night, which shows the drainage is working, um, which suggests players can travel at a greater speed than on a, a slow, soft pitch. Um, but what time will tell him in terms of how it lasts from now until the end of the season? I know we've got a lot of games and potentially an FA Youth Cup game on there as well. Um, but a lot of pitches are struggling at the moment. So it's, it's certainly the best it can be. Um, and then hopefully we'll invest in it at the end of the season and possibly get some serious work done to it um, and improve that playing service for a longer period of time. Um, I think it's been well documented in the headlines recently, obviously, what's happened at Newport and what they've requested. Um, and it's, you know, the surfaces are affecting teams who want to play football of a certain type. Um, I think it was compounded on Tuesday because Walsall sat in behind the ball and we couldn't quite break them down. And the nil-nil saw line suggests that we couldn't quite convert the possession and the pressure into chances. And if you've got a, a quick slip surface, then obviously that, that bodes well for your attacking players, but that wasn't to be on Tuesday. You've mentioned a few times in post-match interviews about certain players or, or, or the squad, you know, being tired because of the schedule. And it's been the, the way this season's been. Do you feel now that perhaps your squad and I guess other squads as well are starting to feel the effects of, of this schedule at the moment? I think it's probably been a constant throughout the season. Um, it's, it's something which hasn't changed. Um, it's a compacted season, um, less time to play the games. We've still got 16 left and I think we've probably got one Tuesday until the last week of the season, which is, is free, um, which we'll use for a refresh for the lads. But it, it's important as well that this this group isn't a, a body-hardened group of League Two experienced campaigners um, because it's got a lot of young lads in there, um, which is great. I think we had 10 involved on, on Tuesday night and and they, they feel it more than others. Um, it's interesting listening to them when they speak in interviews and um, they consistently say about it's not just the games, but it's everything involved with the games, the adrenaline, the, the travel, the eating, the sleeping afterwards and, and your recovery process. Um, I'm sure if you asked Ben Seymour how, how he felt leg-wise going into the Crawley game, um, that would have been a surprise for him um, on the back of his first night in a little while at Colchester on a heavy pitch. And he didn't quite have that energy in terms of those levels going into the Crawley game. He felt a lot better on Tuesday and his obviously performance reflected that. So we've got to keep on moving around certain personnel within, within our six systems and structures. Um, but also we are relying heavily on the, the Jake Taylors of the world. Um, Archie Collins is a kid, but he plays week in, week out. Matt J, um, and when he comes back, um, and we're working as best we possibly can with, with what we've got. Like I say, you look at other squads in the league, and certainly some of the form teams, they've, they've got an abundance of players to choose from. But those players have been there and done it over a number of years. This group of players is still finding its feet, but doing fantastically well. Um, some of those performances on, on Tuesday night, I was pleased with you again. Ryan Bowman is, of course, available for selection again. He must be absolutely chomping at the bit. Hungry, I think is the right word. Um, hungry and desperate for goals, desperate to affect the team, improve the team, desperate for success and trained really well today. Um, 
he's probably been frustrated for the last um, week. So I want to see those frustrations come out in relation to the late in orient back line and the late in orient goal on, on Saturday. Um, he's in good form. Doesn't feel like it because he's not played for a few games, but he's in good form on the back of the Bradford finish, uh, the header, and obviously the, the goal at Newport before he got sent off. Um, and you can see that in terms of his confidence with his finishing in, in training. So I expect to, uh, if Ryan's involved, a big performance from Ryan. Um, but obviously, we've, we've been really pleased with what Ben and Alex Fisher have done to a certain extent in the last three games. Um, and I said previously, the, the more good players you've got to choose from and the more players who I can trust as a manager, then we're in a better position. Is there any further update on, on Pierce Sweeney's injury? And, and can you provide perhaps an update on the others as well? That we're, we're um, Pierce will be sooner rather than later. I don't think this weekend it, it, it was ever on the table in relation to Pierce being able that nasty injury at the time. Um, Pierce is a quick healer um, and there was no bone damage, no ligament damage, and he does generally heal pretty quickly. Um, in relation to Johnny Maxted, um, not great news in terms of the, the outcome from the most recent x-ray. Um, he'll be another three to four weeks at a minimum with a displaced finger bone, a little finger bone. Um, so it, it, that's a shame for Johnny. He's been awfully unlucky with injuries. Um, Sam Stubbs and Randall Williams, I spent a bit of time watching them with the physios today or with Gareth Lord, a physio. Um, and they're going to be with the SNC coaches and the football coaches as of next week. Um, so as soon as we get our hands on Rando Williams and Sam Stubbs, we'll be trying to get them up to speed as soon as we possibly can within the time frame of, of their respective injuries. Um, so we're certainly going to get, be getting stronger as, as the games keep coming. Tom's got another two games of his suspension. Um, and like I say, you, you want all your bodies to choose from as a manager. Um, I just felt Tuesday we didn't quite have enough, not only on the pitch, but off, off the bench as well to affect that game. Um, to really make a difference to, to something different which that game needed um, but Saturday will be a different different story I'm sure the following weeks will be as well Finally then I guess with the outcome of, of Johnny Maxted that's an excellent opportunity you've touched on it before but for Harry Lee and to, just to be around that match day environment with, with the senior pros he's, he's getting fantastic experience isn't he there's not many 15 year old kids travelling around with a first team um, training with a first team on a daily basis and then being involved on, on, on match days um, but that's that's how good he is um, and as much as it's great experience and um, some people will say he's only there due to injuries and, and, and form of other keepers um, he's going to be an outstanding talent well, he's an outstanding talent he's going to be an outstanding player um, I just hope the, the fans get to see him play for, for Exeter City and he doesn't go before, our time, before his time um, which happens with so many young players unfortunately of, of that profile and that potential um, so hopefully he gets to put on that that number one jersey, whatever jersey it is for, for Exeter City and, and play a number of games with ourselves and then go on to bigger and better things. I've got no doubt the level that, that Harry Lee will end up playing. Um, but the experience, like you rightly touched upon there, is, 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 is incredible what he's picking up at the moment.